Here is the perfect Zector, and holy crap, this is huge. Let's see. I'm not too sure what that's all about, but I'm pretty sure it involves the sound effects. And what do you know, I didn't quite cut it until now. Oh yeah, might as well take a look at bottom of the box. There's these perfect Zectors in here. Ugh. The mode, sword mode, gun mode, the instructions, and... Oh, what was it? Uh, other stuff. So let's check it out. Damn! This is huge. I don't... Definitely can't hide it from whoever's going to be sneaking in my room. Uh, there's instruction manuals. So forth, but... Oh, jeez. Okay, hang on. Let me put this on the ground. Alright, so here we have the Perfect Zector B. Huh. Definitely has that honey gold feel to it. Let me get this strap off. And, ooh, wait, what was that? No, the spring either is a little bit more stiff. Ooh, red eyes. Interesting. And I don't have the bead down here to compare it, so we're gonna have to deal with, deal with uh, our imagination. So, and then the Drake. Here's the blue one. Who's here's the blue colored one? I kind of like this better. It has a better tint to it. This is just it looks like someone just crayoned all over it. Still kind of neat. But this is a lot more a lot stiffer and stronger. I say that because well, maybe the one I got wasn't as Sturdy. Hmm. Yeah, this one's more. But this one's a little more loose. But which is a good thing in its own right. So we'll leave that to the side. And so, so ooh, this is more. Uh, this looks better actually. Actually, from the videos, it looked like crab, but. Oh, I still, I still like this uh, look, but the purple, the all-purple outlook looks pretty good. I think I'm going to start mating. Stiff, stiff, they're both stiff. Yeah, I, I like the color scheme of both of these. Pretty cool. Uh, and then... The... Perfect Zicta, which is, oh, these are actually spring clipped? Cool. Take this plastic off. Oh, this open, this, this part opens up way easier than the, uh, than the Drake gun. There's the speakers over there, button over here, and here's a little, the little button that lets you, wait, you have to press both sides to switch it between modes. Doesn't look like you can press the other side, so it only works on this side. Okay, that was a little stiff. I was afraid I broke something. Where do you put the batteries on this? Hmm. Oh. Right here. Very well hidden. So, be right back. Alright, batteries are in... are in here. Oh, this doesn't actually fully close if, um... If it's in sword mode. Anyways, the switch is over here. Kind of well hidden when it's in gun mode, I must say. Oh, wait, let's turn it on then. The speakers over here, very, quite loud. I must say, I'm a little bit more confident in, swing, in swinging this around than the decayed, uh, than the decayed sword, but still not wanting to. The sword is way better to, for swinging. Okay, if you hold it, it'll do that. Let's press all the buttons. It just does it by itself? Huh. Interesting. Yes. 
Now switching to gun mode. Anyways, that was pretty cool. You don't need the Zectors on it, but it is for authenticity. To be authentic, I mean. And you close these, and now it looks proper. Oh, wait, I forgot something. Quick, back to sword mode. Okay, back to gun mode. Really need to press this button, just to be sure. If there's one thing I had to say, where's Gatak? I suppose if he had his own um, perfect Zector sword, it would probably have him over here instead of Kabuto. Kabuto power! Kabuto power! Kabuto power! Uh, but um, this looks more proper in uh, gun mode and not so much in, well, blade mode, obviously. So let's put all the Zectors in, just for fun. Push this in. Oh, right. It's stiff, and I'm trying to be careful not to. That's normal, people. That's normal. Oh, right. So, sword goes under here. And the release button is over here. Yeah, this look, so sword really helps over here in gun mode, being the grip. And Zabi. Let me put it in place, put this up. Launches out. In sword mode, this looks really cluttered. I mean, compact, but cluttered. Target. But uh, aside from that, it's really cool they gave you these alternate colors of the Zectors, and um, the toy is pretty cool despite it being short because it's a toy. Well, actually. After seeing the box and how long it is, I'm kind of more willing to forgive it now. Because that was a pretty huge box. Okay, I'm just, I'm just checking to see if you really did have to hold it or it's just a noise. Oh, whoops, I forgot to close this. Power. 
Okay, it's... I got it. Anyway, so that was the perfect Zector. Uh, really cool. See, wait till the review.